Hey, happy Tuesday. It's Frank Williams Jr. We're live at Music Town Detroit for another installment of the Homegrown Happy Hour. And my guest, I've been trying for months and months and months to get this guy on the show. He says he wants to be on, but he's always in Nashville or he's doing something or you're 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 feeling better, obviously. So you're here today. Feeling better, man. Matt Austin, what's up, buddy? What's happening? Glad <laughs> to be here, man. Thanks for having us. Just in time for your Coyote Joe's show next week, too. Yeah, we're pumped, man. Uh, full band next Friday, Coyote Joe's with WYCD. And uh, it's a single release. We're releasing a new single, brand new song. You're playing that today, right? So this is kind of like. Yeah, absolutely. Are you, are you, wa- are you we waiting are. for the big release of no, it? No, we right? haven't. You know, this is one of the first songs that I was going to release that I haven't teased much of. So. A lot of people, this will be the first time they've ever even heard this song. Your band's looking so. like, I don't know if we were supposed to play this song. I wasn't prepared to play this song. What song are we playing, Matt? But I'm glad you're here. Really quick, though, before we get started, you got you got a group with you this time. Last time you were on, it was just you, yeah, man. solo. Now you got you got a Motley crew assembled. I do. You know what? And uh, it takes it takes some time to find the right people to, uh, you know, because this gig, like me doing this type of thing, it's not easy. And uh, when you got a few guys behind you that, that help lift you up, it makes my job easier. You so. say your drummer lifts you up? He he's been, he's been, he's just, he like lives with this big giant Joey's smile. been lifting me up for Joey's like six been, years now. I think Joey's been on the show more than you have. Uh, he said, <laughs> but yeah, I met him through you. He actually has. He should just be the house drummer here. <laughs> he should. I'm, I'm hiring, by the way. I'm having like little drumming tryouts. All right. Well, who's these other two guys? I haven't met them. Uh, so we got Johnny Corona here on the guitar and vocals. Hey, hey. Johnny Corona. I like that name. And then uh, <laughs> KD or Kevin Davis here on the bass and vocals. Do you prefer yeah. KD? Is it KD, KD and yeah, country and, and Kevin when you're doing rock? Kevin Davis is my real name, but KD is just to separate the... Plus, there's another KD out there, you know. That plays bass? That's a big-time producer, mixer guy. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, so it's just it's weird when you run across someone with the same name. Right. And they're like, yeah, but I go by KD. And I stuck out my hand like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, <laughs> he's bigger than me. Well, he, he, you also don't want to uh, make you know the producer guy mad. Like, if he's got all that influence, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to make this. So thing. KD's easy. Right. <laughs> Although, you know, if it could be it's KD with a letter D, not KD, like a girl's name. I just got to be clear <laughs> about that, too. That, that was good. I'm glad, you, right. did, I'm glad <laughs> you pointed that out. That actually, we're going to have Matt spell his name, too. I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> so this Coyote Joe show on Friday is a, is a single release party, and I think yeah. I, might, I feel like I might have thrown you off guard by asking if you were going to play that single today. No, we actually are. What's it called? Uh, we're not playing it first of the three songs. We're playing it last, obviously. All right, well, we'll talk about it then again yeah, in a minute. Absolutely. <laughs> this yeah. first song you got is called Country Girl Swag. Yeah, one of my it's my last release that I just released not too long ago. It's sort of like a, a discography. It's like the last release to the newest release. Yeah. It's like it's like the last release, the one you thought about maybe, man. Yeah. And then the one you finally did do it. Yep. That's cool. All right, let's check this out. Here's Country Girl Swag, Matt Austin in the band. Lift up on her Dodge Ram truck. She likes a deep down drive in the bam mud. Yo, Samity Sam, flash slap in the back. In a camo duck, command a rifle rack. She shotguns, but ready for 3.5. Give you dip, skinny dip, then she cast a line. She don't mind throwing down when you catch her out. She's what the whole town's talking about. She got country girl swag. She wears the guy's dog tag. Where's the daddy's dog tag? 
And on a blue tone Sunday, Saturday night, she's got a jacket, jug, and hat, got little eyes, she's got a bus, bring back, a little piece out of her back. And on a blue tone Sunday, Saturday night, she's got a jacket, jug, and hat, got little eyes, she's got a bus, bring back, a little piece out of her back. And on a boy's line up to get some of that, get some of that, country girl swag. Sneak preview of what's coming up at County Joe's. In oh a week yeah, or man. So. <laughs> so, uh, so these two guys. How long? I don't know if you mentioned. How long have you guys been a band like this group? Well, Joey's been with me since for like since six, I met you. I met years. him the same day I met He's you. Been yeah, with me for like six years. Uh, these guys just came on like uh, not too long ago, like six weeks ago maybe or so. Yeah, not even four. Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Yeah. Did you guys know each other prior, or were you like just kind of at a show and you saw him play? Like you, guys you know, we just we both we've all been in the same scene for so long that we kind of like knew of each other, kind of passing. And sure. We never really like knew each other, you know. That's cool. Yeah. Have you guys ever thought about the name, or is it just the Matt Austin band, or is it just Matt Austin? It's just Matt Austin. I mean, I've been building that brand for my whole life, so it would be dumb of me at this point to start over. Does that bother you guys that you don't have a name? No, like, like if I had a band, it'd be Frankie and the Flies. We've been playing for or something like this for years. <laughs> and years, and years. <laughs> no, I mean no, because Matt's really good. I mean, like you, like, it's like the Commander guy. Oh, you you have to like to be full hearted into the band. You have to like believe in the front guy that's got the whole thing going. So it sounds like you do. Lot. No, I didn't mean that in a derogatory way. I'm just thinking you might need it, like Matt Austin and the something. You know? No, we actually uh, played a show with Uncle Cracker uh, back in December up in Traverse City, and we started chatting, and uh, another show came up. Uh, with Carter Renner, but that show got canceled, and that's right around the time that we were gonna, you know, we were gonna debut this. Right. Okay. So. He's tuning up. Really quick though, I mean, like you know, you I, I, every time on Facebook I see you, you got your pictures, you're posting with your kids and stuff like that. How uh, how influential would you say your kids are in your songwriting, or is it just kind of one of those things where you like you think it's cute that you know it is cool. I like watching it. My kid likes it too. I yeah, try to get I her mean, to sing it and play hasn't guitar. Been a huge influence in my writing. I mean, there's been some obviously, but not huge. You know? uh, do they ever like hear you writing your songs and you like kind of like playing for the first time? They ever like get in on it? Oh yeah, they'll let me know. They don't lie. Are they ever happy? It's the best. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, know I mean, I, sure. I mean, like just ask them like, cause they're kids. They're never like that. Nah, oh right. That sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your dad, no, it's terrible. Stop playing your music. Right. No, they love everything I do. Right. right. <laughs> it's a yeah, I could I could write a song called Blue Wall, make it make wall rhyme with small, and he, my daughter would be like, Oh my God, Dad, that's the best thing ever. How old are your kids? Man, uh, so. Um, I have one kid at, uh, in Arizona with living with his mom. He's 18. This is the one no one no one sees in the video. That'd be weird to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my the most views that I have on my YouTube page is a um, a cover song with him back in the day of like Dirt Road Anthem. Oh home. really? How long? How old would you say it is? Shoot, I don't I'll know. Honest, I didn't know you had an 18 year old son. Yeah, I knew you had the two little ones. He's but. graduating high school. He's going to the Marines. Oh, and then, uh, sweet. Yeah, and then uh, back home we have uh, my daughter's thirteen and my son's eleven at home. Okay. Oh, so they're actually older than I remember them being. This is yeah. do you, uh, do you want them to get into music? Do they want to get into music? Or I want them to do whatever makes them happy. Are they into music right now though? Because um, they seem to enjoy when they play the music. They're like so into sports right now. Okay. It's like. Yeah. 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 That that'll happen. And I really didn't even get seriously into music until I was like. 16, 18, like even though I had a guitar at 10 and I was in a band at 14, I didn't really like get into it, get into it until I was like 18. What got you into it? Well, my dad was a guitar player, is a guitar player, so I grew up around music, you know. So uh, did he, I I guess it's one of those things, because sometimes, you know, you get the artists, they come in with their parents. Yeah. And uh, that's cool, you know, but you can kind of tell, get the vibe sometimes that the kids more in it because the parents want them to be doing it. And is, did you ever feel like it was like that, or did you just pick it up and go? And then, like, because, I mean, like, when I was younger, you know, my dad wanted me to play baseball and stuff like that, and I hated it. Yeah, but my now dad. Now that I'm older, I wish I did. You know, now no. that you're actually good at music, and you play well, and you've had this band for so long, like, yeah. did you grow up still liking it like that, I guess? Absolutely. My dad definitely did not push me into do it. I, I was just, when I was when I was nine years old, I heard a, he, he played a Stevie Ray Vaughan cassette tape for me, and I was like, whoa, what is that? 
and he's like, that's Stevie Ray Vaughan playing guitar. And I'm like, this is real music, son. Get me a guitar <laughs> for Christmas. And that Christmas, he got me a guitar when I was 10. So That's cool. Yeah. And the rest is history. That's, right. that's, that's awesome. Well, let's hear one more song, and then we'll talk about the rest of your summer and stuff like that. <laughs> this one's got a cool name. It's called Little Mistake. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> this was one of my ideas that I took to Nashville to write. And uh, it's a good play on words. I love having a good play on words, you know. And it's like Little Mistake, and people are like, oh, you're going to make a mistake. But it's like the words are saying Little Mistake. Right. out little miss take my hand and like the bridge line is my favorite it's like this could all go up in flames or it could be little miss take my last name i like that let's hear it yeah I, I like that a lot yeah. that's clever i like that a lot right, cool <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you did have a headphone in. I was going to say, I'm the only one in here without headphones, and I looked, and you didn't have yours in either. That must have been tough. That's oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it if I couldn't hear myself. Yeah, so how long does it take you to write a song like that? Because yours are always, like, party, ampy stuff, and I know you're kind of a party guy, but writing songs to me is hard. How long does it take you, on average, to write just an average song? Um, so that particular song took about two to three hours. Okay. From the idea until it was done. Um I've, I have, I mean, I've been going to Nashville for the last three years and writing every month. And uh, 
there's a range, man. Like sometimes it'll take an hour or two just comes together. And there's some songs that aren't we don't even I don't even have finished that are in my notes that we spent four hours on writing and just never finished. That was my next just question. How many would you say are unfinished songs in your book? Out of the ones that I've been, like, I mean, how many? Like, like, if you were to, like, you know, how some of the artists they put their like unfinished, you know, their unreleased like songs. Yeah. Say you were to put on an album of un- unfinished songs you never recorded, they're just half written. Right now, how many would you say mm-hmm. are in your book? Well, I can say that there's less than I have finished, but there's a lot. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. If that makes sense. Fair enough. Well, that's a good ratio. At least more finished. Are finished. Yeah. Yeah. There's. It's probably only. Since I've been writing in Nashville, there's probably only 10% to 15% that don't get finished. Do you ever, like, just write the song and you're like, eh, I'm just not feeling it and scratch it? Or does it, like, legitimately, some of these don't get finished because you get frustrated and you can't? You know what? I think it's just, like, one of those things where you just, um, I guess a lot of people who write, they overthink it. And they'll, like, want it to be perfect and, like, overthink it so it ends up not getting finished. And I'm more of, like, a guy where I'm, like, let's, instead of, like, trying to write five great songs and overthink them let's write a hundred and let them just flow out without overthinking them and we'll get at least five sure. great ones out of them just by letting them flow out yeah you know? plus, so it, plus it makes it feel like it's you too it's not like you're sitting there trying to be something you're not exactly. to make that great song exactly. you know yeah. that's cool mm-hmm. that's really cool because that question that that answer varies because some people say oh no, 20 minutes some people say three hours some people say a week me it takes yeah. five ten years yeah. okay. so i mean it's yeah. got like one line and i'm like yeah this <laughs> but so this last single though it's called frank williams jr this next one rather. <laughs> yeah yeah that's one of my unfinished ones oh i thought this was the new single you're gonna debut at no, county that's in my unfinished folder oh the frank I williams jr i got a couple lines for it though okay, i want you to do a, uh, a theme song i'm telling all the artists to do a theme song every time they come on the show now i'm actually first one to F- do it I'm gets a prize i'm actually gonna calling it fwj fwj mm-hmm. <laughs> for real though the new single is called your name that's why your i name. said that oh hey yeah hey. you didn't get that this guy's yeah. witty Wow, wow, I thought you got that. This guy's witty right here. Yeah, he knew Man. I was going to do that. <laughs> wow, Frank. Hey, I got some jokes. What do you have today? Look at <laughs> Monster Energy ad right there, cheers. putting your brain together. It's not beer, but cheers. <laughs> <laughs> also, shout to Tori, who came and took the day off to come see you. Shout out. She's been, she's always been, you need to get Matt Austin on the show. And I'm like, trust me, I'm trying. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but uh, what's your, what, before we get in this last song, though, what's the plan for the rest of your summer outside of the County Joe show? Like, When's this new album going to be out? Where is your music? Other um, tours you want to be a part of? Or yeah, so uh, we got a lot of new music coming out. I've released two new singles recently. Um, this one's coming out on May 3rd. By the way, you can pre-save it on Spotify right now if you want to. It comes and it's out just Matt Austin. Next it's Friday. very easy. To yeah, yeah. And uh, um, just went down to Nashville last month and recorded four new singles um, with cool. uh, Tyler Farr's producer. Oh, that's sweet. So um, these songs that I did at this level are at a bigger level than I've ever done in my career. And uh, you can definitely hear the difference, you know, like uh, as a as an independent person without a lot of funds, you know, you get what you pay for. And it's true in the music business, like even a great song with in mediocre production. Right. Can only have so much life. These now these these new songs are at a level of production that the big leagues are are playing with. So I'm super excited about these songs. We're going to release a four new ones, one every like eight weeks starting in May. That's awesome. That's the biggest thing, though, someone asks. Like, they want to critique on a song they're doing. It's like everything, the songwriting is great, the, the, the musicianship's great, the production. Not trying to, like, knock nobody. It's, it is what it is. You yeah. can't afford the million-dollar stuff. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, that, that's, just, that's the biggest takeaway. The production yeah. makes a world of a difference. Yep. It doesn't matter if you have gold on that end. That's the production right. makes it or not. That's true. That's, that's, a, very, that's a point you got to drill home a little yeah. bit, for sure. And I, I've, uh, I've been fortunate to land a, uh, a couple people that are investing in my career and um, that that goes a, that goes a long way. So it's always um, something new with you. I like that. Always yeah. always moving up. Every time I see you, trying man. It's, awesome. it's slow and steady, but it's like trying to run in quicksand in this business. You know. <laughs> I swear to God. I get that feeling. Yeah. Absolutely. You yeah. like you feel like you're going somewhere, but in reality, you look back and you're like, oh, I only went like six steps. Yeah. Like swimming from the shore. It you feel really like you're swimming forever. You're swimming forever. It you is. turn around and that that beach is right there still. I know. I'm telling you. Yep, yeah, right, right. Yeah, they say it's a ten-year town, but it's it's uh, and people think it's overnight success when they hear of someone you know breaking in this business, and people don't realize the years and of sure. work and dedication that they've. 
put before you've even heard of it. And it's not just the music. It's being in the right place at the right time. It's also the people you know. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, a whole it's a bunch good, of things it's all a good old boy together. Club. It's, it's ridiculous. It's a good old you know? boy club, man. And it's hard because some people don't realize that. They think, oh, yeah. I have great songs. I have, I'm a great musician. That's what it takes. And it's like, no. I mean, yeah, that obviously. Yeah. But n- obviously not in some instances as well. Yeah. So, you know. That's really cool. I'm glad you finally made it onto the show. Well, I thank you guys too, man, because WYCD has been great to us. Myself, yeah, and speaking so of which, I want to be at the show in two weeks. I want to be at the Scouty Joe's show. You need to get in my boss's ear and be like, hey, we need Frank at the. Why is you? Well, be there. <laughs> Someone's got to be on the air, man. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's work it. on that. Let's we'll work that. on that, and then we'll make a big production All of right. the truth that fell to the ground. Because right. if you play this song really good, I got you one of these, too. Okay. <laughs> and you will be a, a, a new member of the Frank Williams Jr. drinking team, but you are playing for your membership. Okay. So far, so good. All of us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll all be on the drinking team. Wow. But we, he, he gets the shirt. You guys just get to drink. We'll do, we'll do some picklebacks. Get an anchor man on that team. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll go talk to Leland Bush. You might. He, there, it's a softball team. So basically the story of this is I – thought outside the box i'm like i'm gonna sponsor a couple softball teams during the summer to get you know my face out there <laughs> I love and this uh these are the jerseys so when i made these i only made like 15 of them for the team and everyone's like oh i want one i want one so now i made like 100 of them and i'm giving them out of the homegrowns and at the concerts during the summer and i love it my face is gonna be all over detroit hopefully <laughs> is it weird though when i wear it when my face is on my chest mm. is it weird like me wearing my own face you know it's your <laughs> It's your life, man. You you got the <laughs> same twenty four hours we got. You do so you. You, do you only you, got twenty four hours. <laughs> well, twenty four hours a day. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. You don't get enough love behind those drums, man. <laughs> no, it's like one of the prettiest group in, in country music here in Detroit. <laughs> So this last song is not called Frank Williams Jr., I kid. It's called Your Name. This is the new single. It's not called Matt Austin either. It's not called Matt Austin. It's not called Tori. No. It's not called Robert. It's, called it's not called Katie. Name. It's not called Johnny Corona. <laughs> it's called. Just imaginative. I just can't believe I just called out your whole entire band and didn't screw up. Or did I screw up? Joey? I did screw up. That's Joey? Yeah. Robert's your brother. Yeah. Ah, I spoke too soon. I did screw up. That's all right. <laughs> Don't even ask me to say your last name. I could never pronounce it in a million years. Are you sure there's not beer in that? A corporate meeting outside. <laughs> Shh. Corporate. <laughs> I love corporate. <laughs> All right, get me out of here with your name. All right. All right. <laughs> Lips are like a tattoo, ain't never coming off. Rough around the edges, but the middle so damn soft. Girl, we love like lightning, fire like thunder. You're the only skin that I want to be under. Your lips are like a tattoo, ain't never coming off. Kiss me out, California at a cheap motel. Down for a bang, my baby drunk as hell. Drag me outside just to kiss me in the pouring rain. Your name, your name, your name, your name. All that I can say is your name, your name, your name, your name. You're the right kind of burn mixed up with a little sweet. You're just like Coke in some black label, Tennessee. Yeah, it tastes so good, can't just sip it. I want it all when you lean in with me You're the right kind of burn mixed up with a little sweet Kiss me out, California and a tea motel Down for a baby, baby, drunk as hell Drag me outside just to kiss me in the cold gray Hey, push me up, put the mud painted on my face Closer than the devil, holding on to the city I love it when you kiss me till you take my breath 
Lips are like a tattoo, ain't never coming off. Kiss me out, now I'm born to run and keep on the tail. Got no man and never drawn to stay. Drag me outside. New single. New one. Your name, Matt, KD, Johnny, Joey, or Robert, whatever the hell your name is. Thanks so much for coming to the Homegrown Happy Thank Hour. You, Finally, buddy. we'll get Thanks. you on real soon, man. Oh, wait, Thanks wait, Tori, Tori, did he? Is he worthy? Is he worthy? All right, Matt. Thanks you guys Matt back Austin, there too, man. The newest member of the Frank Williams Jr. drinking team. Thank you, sir. We'll see you soon. Good luck at Coyote Joe's next Hold week. We need a picture with that. We'll get a picture with that. Yeah, buddy. That's right. You better wear that. Next time I see you, you better be wearing that shirt. I said that to them in the back studio too, and I found it in a drawer buried underneath candy and pens. I could probably Annie. fit you and me in this, <laughs> right? That, it shrinks. It's all right. <laughs> prob- That's what she said. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, we're live at Music Town Detroit every Tuesday for the Homegrown Happy Hour. It's the second floor of the Hockey Town Cafe. I'm Frank Williams, Jr. My guest is Ben Matt Austin. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Yep.